Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the infamous uh, Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man with less classes, less hit points, less items, niche builds and of course stronger enemies. We're trying to go for Operation Diamond Fire. It's pretty much towards the end of the game and I really only want that loot of uh, one, um, one Illyrium Core so that we can uh, finish the Icarus suit. Other than that, this here is more kind of uh, that extra uh, round that you're uh, that you're going when everything's maxed out. So Chrysalid Hunter today, Andromedon Prime is going to be a, a little bit more difficult, but the rest of the guys seem to be fine. Well, of course, going in uh, with the secondary team here, Sirkim, Toxic, Secundos, uh, Sandman, Hunk, Michael Public, Bravo, Lots of good uh, C team players. Uh, by now, we already do have two uh, the A and the B team on Colonel rank. Most of these guys here are majors, uh, so that's good as well. Overall, the run was a blast and I really enjoyed it. So, let's just get those last few missions right and finish it up strong. Good, and there we are. We just landed, we came in hot six uh, mm, operators this time instead of seven you won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one and it's straight up saving it's straight up saving civilians look at that two chrysalids who would have thought See, and that's where the suit finally comes in handy. Because we can trigger them right away. Hmm, let's see. Do we want to trigger them? They would be able to run up to here, but we still could kill them. So, yeah, why not? Good, Mike the Public Bravo. Showing us how it's done. Secundos. Ah, I think we don't yet need to okay. use on. our overdrive. We're fine. I think for now, let's hit the chrysalids. Easy, easy. Hunk moves up. Hitting that other chrysalid. Okay, cool. 100%, that's a kill. X -ray down. And death from above allows us to kill the second chrysalid as well. Thanks to the upgraded pistols, that was even... A secured kill. Running. So first peg done before the mission even started. Why is it that Secundos can't jump up? Looks a bit strange to me. Is it because Mike is blocking the entrance? I can hardly believe that that's the case. Okay, apparently uh, the mech doesn't like that high ground. Good, fair enough. Continuing to move up. We got to be careful with a prime that is potentially our only real opponent. Q 
Keith just got killed. That's unfortunate. Good. Moving up. Fantastic. Well, at least we're not spotted out. Okay, well, that might not be true. Refraction field immediately reconceals. Fantastic item, by the way. Good. And we're moving over there. We've just spotted out the next enemy, 100% shot. Likely is going to kill him. Death from above allows us to move all the way to the corner. Ten secundos, for the love of God, not move up there. Huh. Okay. We're aggressively moving in, because we know that there is another pack waiting for us. Got it covered. There's a chrysalid and there's another pack behind. Want to kill that chrysalid for sure. Super dangerous to let them stay alive. Zirkim moves over go. here. I should not trigger anything. Good to go. Move. We can get these uh, folks. And rescue all of them. Are there any more civilians? Potentially not. Moving out. Moment that we've I rescued all of the civilians. It's exactly the moment where this turns into a non-timed mission. I said a shot onto that mech if we wanted it. Let's stay over here for now. And we're moving up a bit closer. Moving on target. I'm trusting you here. Our team is ready with overwatches. Mike does not pull them yet because if I would pull another pack they would be activated and could kill civilians as well which means more civilians would die there is absolutely no need for that the chrysalids at the moment are inactive so all they can do is burrow and run around unless they are the one active team but we already have seen that this back here those guys are the active team hence they are killing everybody in the proximity and only when they are done doing so essentially another team will take over as long as they are inactive only one team kind of kills enemies behind the scenes You're clear. Move out. i must move quickly Good. And that yeah, just means we're fine. Secured a civilian contact. I'm going. Moving. Moving up without pulling something. 
Well, that's the name of the game here. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Good. Overwatch. And now we can slowly but surely start to engage the enemies. For instance, the chrysalids. So our aggressive movement at the beginning has really paid dividends. I will reposition. Good. Moving over here. Reaper is theoretically ready. Got the purifier, got the heavy mech. If we hit the purifier, that would also shred the heavy mech. I think we're going to do that. Well, so much for shredding that heavy mech. At least it positioned itself nicely in the open. What's our chance of hacking it? So 50-50 for taking it over. I think that's not too bad. I mean, we could always go for the almost 100% shutdown. If we take it over, we're going to trigger three chrysalids. That's again, not the end of the world. Um, just to make sure that in case the Reaper is getting spotted out, we're giving it an aid protocol and then let's hack the mech. If we fail, we can still chuck it down. But we're not failing. Three turns of straight up control. Very good. It's going to trigger the chrysalids. Sort of. At least I thought it would trigger them. Apparently it doesn't, so... See you, Kim. Moves over here. Secundus moves over here, which does not trigger yet. And Toxic moves over here, which also does not trigger. Overwatch. Overwatch. And we're definitely going to trigger them this turn. Getting some nice overwatch shots out of it. There we go, come on. Okay, don't go for the civilian. Yep, exactly. Just run for us. Perfect. Lovely. Lovely. So what we're going to do is that good old trick. Zirkim unfortunately needs to move away. And we'll be spotted out. But that's okay. We're going to give him a kill in a second. As he is going to shred them and us at the same time. Nice, well done.
Now Zero Kim gets his kill. Bristolet Hunter needs to die as well. Kondos easily moves up and gets that extra kill against the other. Oh, wait a second, we could also shred the mech, which we're potentially going to do. Kind of setting it up to kill it soon. There we go, Toxic gets another kill. Just a tiny bit closer. And this here is simply setting the mech up for the potential kill in the turns to come. I think there is one pack over here on the left hand side and then the prime somewhere. Good, second round of being hacked. The Overwatch can be removed, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, not, not the end of the world. I figured we could stand that one shot. We cannot, that's okay. Gotta shred both of them. Can we see both apparently here? Movement request confirmed. We're driving. We got toxic. Who takes that full cover? So freeing it up. Toxic is supposed to mark one of them. The lead officer in this case. Oh, he even hits. That's fantastic. Weak hit. Gonna need a reload soon. Good. Starting to hit the mech. Okay, that's a fantastic shredding. And let's go for the officer. That's another good shredding as well. Not optimal. But we're still fine. Let's hit the Mac. Okay, apparently not. Moving up to finish at least the mech. Officer would die, mech would die, okay. Which means it's up to Zirkim to decide. And comet protocol to kill the officer. Fantastic. Leaves us with one combat protocol for the. Come get some. I'll watch 
Go to the Prime. I will always find you. Who eventually is back there. With a bunch of mutants. So I'm wondering if we should kind of re circle over here and take the high ground. Oak says I am to obey. Acknowledged. Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. Well, well, well. We can always restill, so we're fine. Back online. Sniper can't reach that faceless one. Fortunate. Good, very good, solid damage. Can't uh, get all the way there. I could use a rocket, which I think is not the smartest idea, but we can use run and gun. I hate to just use that cooldown, but it's worth it in this case. Check it before you get too close. Good, to Good. Go. time to reposition, I would say. Moving over. Easy peasy grapple hook to the very top. Reloading. We got some high ground over here. Might as well consider that, to be honest. I like the idea. Done. Good. We're reconcealing ourselves. Now you see me. And Over moving here. as far forward as possible. Double time. Very good. All set. We're reshifting our position. Those guys are right there. Might as well trigger soon ish. Okay, moving over. Reaper is back in action and therefore can go back into the shadows. I go where you tell me. You can never escape my sight. Good, this marks all of them. Gotta be careful with that under Andromedon Prime. So we are falling back just a tiny bit. Gotta wait for Overdrive to come back, etc. etc. Zirkim. Gets ready for flanking position, which is why we're keeping him here. Moving to Overwatch. Reloading. Weapon. Reloading, which is going to be the key here. In position. In position. Very well.
you know, by thinking about it, we might as well approach that from over here and use high ground to just devastate them. Okay, a bit of a ch change of plans. But I think overall it's going to be very much worth it. Reapers continues to simply observe them for now. I'm all over it. Moving all the way over. On it. Very good. Always vigilant. Roger that. And we're essentially taking the high ground over here Holding. to engage with them. They can't immediate. Uh, who knows? Advancing. Toxic moves are there. Heading to that location. You know what? Zirkim could get up there and drop down on them. Okay, fantastic. Sometimes when you see high ground in such an obvious, good, uh, obvious, nice position, you don't uh, want to engage right away. But you're just turning around for a little bit. Next turn, they would be coming to here. Which means we're going for a kill zone. What's over there? Full cover for everyone. Seems doable. Hunk moves up. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Secundos. Steps all the way to the front. Very good. Position confirmed. Overwatch. Stand in watch. Good. Marking him. That's good. Shredding it. Oh, it's even better. I'll get him next time. Damn it, I want a kill zone to work. Damn it, I want a kill zone to work. Like so bad. Nice little shredding for everyone. Okay. So. We are going to give a protocol to Zirkim. Got the feeling that he will need it in a second. Plasma Blaster will not shred. Will just deal damage. Oh, 
but we need to shred it first. We're going to take some shots in return. Okay, okay. Well, that positioning, my friend, was the worst you could do, because now you're very much ready to be one-shot. Uh, high damage, unfortunately, didn't work out. Zero chance of critting, okay. Alright, let's mark him. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Damned acid burn. Alright. Getting the guy down. to nine and what are we dealing with two four six eight ten two uh, they will probably survive it we could use one of those can we hack it and shut it down all right that's a good chance but we failed a shutdown would have been the obvious solution, and then just killing both of the mutants. Fortunately, that's not the case anymore. Running out of uh, meaningful actions, are we just going to let him do his thing for now? It can't fully reach us. So instead of taking two shots from the mutants, let's soften them up. Orders confirmed. Moving out. We're blocking the entrance here, which means uh, that guy cannot come up. And we're using a heavy weapon to get rid of both of them. That's a bit of the problem, because he will get extra actions. Good, that's almost a kill. Moving down here. Toxic run and guns. All the way over to there. Mike the public, bravo. Gets himself over there. And we're just moving down here. Good, hail of bullets to make sure he's properly primed for the next round. He will get one more movement and then we can eventually kill it. Two, four, six, yeah, that's good enough. Damn it, these guys are tough. 
destroyed. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Specifically, the suit also gets the same um, movement, so that's a problem. Fantastic! Mike got his promotion and gets aim. He's now major as well. Unfortunately, we didn't get. No, we did not destroy any loot, but we didn't get loot as well. So we're still le left without that Elarium core. Like I said, I will likely do one of uh, the alien facilities off screen once the timer runs out. That way we should be um, fine and still, yeah, maybe I need to do two of them, but that way we should be fine and still get uh, the Elarium core. I want to get that Ikira suit for the final mission. Our action together is complete, Commander. Good. I think that was the last mission that we needed. I don't want to start extra missions. <clears throat> so... We're just putting <clears throat> another soldier on that mission. They can, they they would not be missed in the final in the final uh, mission. And I think we're almost done. Four more days. <laughs> A lost mission, really. Well, if we would let that go through, if we would let get that go through, Ricardo here um, would not join our team and the more problematic portion is Viper Rounds would come up and I don't want to play the last mission with Viper Rounds. Ah, two days before everything was do uh, done and dusted. We gotta hack that resistance computer. Spectre Prime, potentially multiple Spectre Primes, anti uh, Riot Max, and others uh, heavy robotic units. Well, maybe there is that extra chance to get the core that we were looking for. Still don't have it yet. Still want that Icarus armor. So. Yeah, let's do that uh, mission. We're going to do it in the next run, guys, for now. Uh, thank you for watching. It's going to be that one little uh, extra mission. I can... Uh, I'll, I'll take something interesting uh, into that mission to make it worth our while. And then we're going to the tower mission and uh, to the last mission. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.